Now in this tutorial, I want to talk to you about getting started in Google Earth. One of the key elements that you need to do in Google Earth is to be able to mark the 10 locations that you have as part of your tour, and then to be able to add the descriptions as part of those locations. We'll worry about finishing off the descriptions with images and other things in another video. But for this video, I just want you to see how you mark a location and how you add the description. Okay, well for my example, I'm going to be teaching from the novel Where the Wild Things Are. And so I'm going to be using this book, which is set in pretty much a fictional area where we don't find out anything about place uh, as far as real places that we can look up on the globe. So I have a lot of freedom. I can really kind of do what I want with this book rather than being tied down to having specific uh, locations that are part of the book. So I'm going to be using um, Massachusetts just for what I kind of envision as a place where uh, Max might have gone and might have lived as he starts out this book. And so I think it'd be kind of fun to have Max kind of on the coast. So I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and get Max kind of somewhere on the coast. Now again, I don't really have a set place, so I can pretty well pick whatever I want. This looks like a nice coastal town where I might put Max living with his family. Okay. And again, the only reason I'm picking a coastal town is frankly because Max wants to go on the, on the water, so I'm going to use this as my town. The scene that I want to talk about is Max being in trouble up in his room. So the first thing I need to do with this, now that I've found my location, is I'm going to mark this location with a place mark. The place mark setting is located along the top of your canvas. It has a yellow push pin. As you click on that, a bubble pops open that allows you to add a description and you can move that little place mark around. Now you can only move the place mark around when it has the yellow box around it signifying that it's in edit mode. And that only happens when I'm actually able to edit or create a place mark. So let's put a place mark by the house that I think belongs to Max. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to change this from being untitled place mark in the description to Max in trouble because that's the part of the book that I want to talk about. And you can see that this is nothing more than just a basic dialog box where I can put content. So I'm going to add some content that I've already created. And you can see my description is this, this, just, this event took place in Max's room. And I decided that I would quote from the book. Since I don't really have any historical background to provide, I just put in the, the text that came from uh, the third page of Where the Wild Things Are. And the most important thing that I've added in here is my discussion prompt. So as you can see on this page, Max is being called a wild thing by his mom, and he responds that he'll eat you up. So the questions that I would ask my younger audience as we're going through this book would be, what do you think a wild thing is? And maybe a comprehension question, why was Max sent to bed without his supper? So those would be some prompts that I would have my students answer those questions as we kind of went through this virtual tour. Now, you're going to repeat this process several times. So as I click Save, let's see where this ends up. So I'm going to come and say OK to this so I can save this. And you'll see that that place mark is on the left-hand side of my screen in the area of Google Earth called Places. You can see it's just kind of hiding down here. Now, I want to get my own area up here in my places, so I'm going to move my Max in Trouble just by left-clicking, and I can drag that around in this area. Okay, so you can move that around. Rather than having it just maybe in the temporary places, I can move that to different locations. I think I stuck it inside the sightseeing folder. I want it to go even a little higher up into the My Places area. I haven't done it quite yet. You can see that it's a little sensitive, so you just need to be careful. And part of the problem that I'm running into is just the resolution of my screen. So there we go. I've moved that up there. Now, as I continue to add these place marks, eventually what I want is to make a folder that I can put those in. So let's just show that right now. I'll click on the My Places link, and I can come up here into the Add menu, and I will go down and add a folder. And I will call this where the wild things are because that's the title of my book. So I might come back and add a description to that in a little bit but for right now that looks pretty good. I'll just say OK to that and we've got our folder now. Again I might want to move that folder up just so that it's in the My Places area and I might actually physically drag 
the uh, the Max in Trouble icon inside there. So you can see I can continue to add those. It's a little tricky to drag and drop those things inside the folders, but you can tell when you're inside of a folder because there's a little arrow next to the folder. When it's dropped down, you should be able to see your place mark. If you can't see it, that means that you haven't got it inside. Well, that's just a really quick tutorial about putting down place marks in Google Earth so that you can mark the different locations that you have. Now, if you have any questions about this, I'm going to continue with our next video, which will show you how to put in an image as part of our as part of our assignment. Let's take a look.